Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Tax Agenda. And we are now at chapter 8 of our Red Hat OpenShift Administration Tutorial. In this chapter, we will see how to control pod scheduling behavior. Okay, so you need know that pod will be running inside the nodes. Okay, so while our application will learn uh, on the pod that which node it will select, right? So this kind of pod scheduling behavior, we will look into this tutorial. Okay, so we let go ahead and we'll see that what we are going to do and learn in this lab. Okay, so we'll create a new project first and then uh, via our uh, developer login into the OC, uh, OpenShift, we will create the new project. Okay, then we will deploy a new uh, web applications. Okay, via a image inside the create.io image registry. And then we will expose the um, uh, uh, that application, okay, into the network. And then what we will do, we will scale the application, okay, for the four ports. So after this, our four uh, ports and the uh, four replicas of our application into the four ports will be running, okay. Then we will see these ports and we will see that how these ports are running inside the nodes, okay. So there are might be uh, multiple nodes, right, and how these ports will be running on the multiple nodes, this we will check. And then we will uh, log in as the administrator user. Then we will see the concept of the node selector and how we can label the nodes. And based on these labels, we can deploy our application to the particular node. Okay. So this behavior we will check via the commands. Okay. So let's start one by one. <clears throat> so uh, I am moving to my uh, OC, uh, OpenShift environment. Okay. So I am login uh, as the developer, okay? You can see OC who am I is the developer account, okay? So let me first uh, create the new project here for this demonstration, okay? Project name would be the schedule pods, okay? Our project has been created. Then let me uh, get the, uh, let me deploy the application from the QA.io image registry. So here, what we are doing, we are creating the new app, OC new app, and app name would be uh, hello, and it will uh, be deployed from the image, okay? So uh, then this is the image registry, qa.io, and the whole URL and the tag, B1.0, uh, okay? So let me deploy this application. Okay, so application has been deployed now, and let me check via the OC get all command whether all component of the application has been deployed successfully or not okay so uh, the pod we can see container is being ready okay and other services is also ready and uh, um, the image uh, registry you can see right so let me see again if our pods are up and running correctly or not right so uh, we once we uh, run again this oc get all then we can see that our Ports, okay, currently a single port, our single instance of application is running in a single port. Okay, that's why one oblique one you can see here and this is in the running state. So our application is in running state. Okay, so let me also expose the application to the outside of the world via the networking. Okay, so um, we exposing the service so that our route will be created. Okay. So while we have done this, the route must be created. So if you will check via the OC get all command, now here we can see the information of the route aspect, right? So route information also has been added here. So route has been created now. Okay, so now let me first check that uh, how our application, okay? So if we will give command OC get uh, pod, okay? And then hyphen O wide, then it will also give us the uh, node and other information. Right? So here we can see that uh, the one instance of our application, one pod is running, and this uh, pod is running in which, where? In the node master 01 node, okay? In my environment, I am having three uh, node, okay? Master 01, master 02, and master 03. So as of now, this application is running in the master 01 node. Okay, so let me do one thing. You know the internal load balancing and everything, how OpenShift perform, right? So if we will having uh, uh, multiple uh, ports, right, running inside our cluster, so uh, the load behavior, the load balancer of the OpenShift will divide 
uh, the load okay and uh, we run these for automatically automatically to the different load okay how we will check this we will create the more replicas of this application then we will see it okay so here we are scaling our application okay so uh, via this command oc scale so we are scaling up our application and from one to we are scaling to the up to four right so four replicas of our application will be running now let me do that and let again check via oc get all command okay now here you can see right so uh, four pod is being ready right and uh, two pod are running and two pod are in the still in the create state okay and if we check again right so all four uh, pods are running now okay now check the um, uh, uh, wide command okay o oc get pod hyphen wide command now here you can see right as i told you the load balancing internet load balancing of the open ship so four pod are running, okay? And uh, one pod is running in the master zero one. Uh, the next one is master zero two. Another one again is master zero one. And the last one is the master zero three node, okay? So that's why our application are running automatically into the different, right? Now, next thing we need to learn that how we can control this behavior. This is currently, it is happening automatically, okay? And suppose I want that my application should run on the master 01 node only. Okay, then how can I control this? Okay, so let me go and check this scheduling behavior. Okay, so main scheduling behavior is the uh, how we can select the node. Okay, and we can we call it the node selector as well. So let me do that. For it, we have to login as the admin user first because as a developer user we do not have that right to work on the nodes okay uh, um, uh, as uh, okay for that we have to login as the admin only then we can give the label to the nodes and accordingly according to these labels we can uh, uh, deploy our application to the node which is having that matching labels okay so let me go ahead and uh, uh, login with the admin okay so i am admin now okay and if i give who am i command okay then it is returning then i am the admin okay so uh, for it to check the label let we uh, do that okay we will create uh, two labels in our um, uh, in our environment okay one level would be environment dev and another level would be environment prod okay so in that way uh, we will uh, um, give two labels to our uh, um, uh, nodes okay and accordingly then we will uh, deploy our application according to our environment either for the devil environment or for the production environment okay so to check these labels okay what uh, we will do we will give this command oc get node hyphen l environment okay env so env is the key of that right so if any node is having that uh, uh, environment key okay so it will show this right so as you can see, it is showing my environment is showing three nodes, master 01, master 02, master 03, and none node is having any value of this uh, environment key, okay? So let me save it, Just let me uh, set it, okay? So let me set uh, 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 master 01 with the environment equal to dev value, okay? So for it, OC label node, okay master zero one so what we are doing here uh, we are uh, labeling uh, to the node master zero one and we are adding this label environment equal to env equal to dev right so let me do that and same way let me uh, set the uh, this label for environment to master two node as well and let me give this environment value as the prod okay so this has been set and now again let me check our uh, environment right so once we did that now you can see right so master 01 is having um, uh, environment label as dev 
and master 02 is having environment value as the prod and master 03 node is having nothing right no value related to the environment okay so let me go ahead and then we will see how um, uh, how to deploy our application into the particular environment say for the development environment okay for it let me again log in uh, with our uh, developer login okay so oc login so i am inside my uh, developer account again developer login again okay and you know that our uh, these four uh, nodes are currently uh, running okay for that application which we deployed okay uh, some are on master 01 and uh, i mean uh, scattered in the different nodes right now i want that suppose this my this application is for the development environment only and i want that all port should be deployed in the uh, master 01 right because master 01 is the uh, master 01 is the development environment node right so now i want that all these uh, uh, ports should be uh, deployed into the master 01 node only okay so for it what i have to do i have to change my the deployment okay so how we how i can do it i will edit uh, the uh, uh, deployment descriptor okay the yaml file okay for it we will uh, give the oc edit command and we'll give the deployment name right so application name is hello and the deployment so let me do it Okay, so what we have to do, we have to add this node selector, okay, and the environment there. Okay, so if based on this key and value, then the particular node will be selected, right? So that is why it is the node selector, okay? So we have to add it into inside the uh, specification, okay? So let me uh, go there and uh, in the specification, inside the specification, let me add it. Okay. Here. And we have to take care of the indentation. Okay. So indentation is like this here. And then environment would come at the next indentation. Okay. So it's perfect now. And let me save it okay so our deployment has been edited now let me check again via oc get all command okay so here we can see right so uh, deployment is starting Okay, let me check with the OC uh, port command. Okay, here yeah, you can see, right? So now all the port has been restarted. Okay, you can see the age. All the port has been restarted and now all port are running on the master 01 node. Okay, and suppose now if our application is ready for the production now and if we want that all the applications should be done, inside the um, uh, inside the nodes which are having values as the pros right so um, uh, let me do it okay let me again uh, edit our deployment okay and inside this let this time we select environment as the prod okay okay so we have to find out the node selector. Here is our node selector. Okay, in, in instead of dev, okay, uh, let me change this value to prod, then all the pod of this, uh, all the pod of this uh, application uh, will run in the master two node, okay? Let me do it and then see the pod, okay? Here, 
pod is being re uh, right again creating okay so again a deployment is being uh, is running right so and we can see the age these all pod just started and now all pod are running on the market okay so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching